Welcome back. Today on my channel we're going to be repairing my RC car. As you can see the tire is off. Last night I was driving it around and that little nut in there came off this tire and so now I need to go to the store and get a new one. So I will be right back with that. But before I go, I just would like to show you guys some stuff, like some things I would like your opinions on, because I'm new to this. This right here is the steering for the RC car, as you can see when we flip it. There it is, the, the steering, and there's another space for it over here, and right here. Now, a few days ago, I... I took this car apart just to experiment with it and stuff like obviously that's the battery storage thing and I have two of those and yada 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 this is it and stuff but yeah I was wondering if I got a second one of these and installed it here and then fed it into the receiver box if that would help my steering any or if it just wouldn't matter at all so if you guys uh, could tell me that, that would be awesome in the comments. And, uh, yeah, and another thing I want to show you guys is, uh, I didn't get the chance to show it to you last time when I installed it because I didn't really have the camera for it yet. Anyway, I installed this guy right here. It's a wheelie bar. Now I can pop wheelies and be in control of them. I like that. So I'm just trying to think uh, what else I can do. Uh, I was also thinking of uh, taking these gears, like taking the engine out, taking the pinion gear out, and switching it out. Uh, apparently that makes the car go faster. And I'm only running one battery right now because the battery that came with the RC car, it's only a 7.2 voltage, same voltage as this battery, as you can, uh, you can't really see it, but that, that says 7.2, and right there it says 1200 mAh, I don't know what that battery is for the mAh, so, I don't really want to mix it and run into any problems with this because this is a good battery and I don't want to fuck it up. So, uh, I'll be right back and I'll have what I have when I get back. And I'll install it everything. Okay, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, I'm now back. I went to uh, the store and I got uh, the things I needed. Uh, unfortunately I was an idiot and I asked for a bolt instead of a wheel nut. Good thing they knew what I meant. But yeah, for future reference, if uh, you guys are now doing customizations to your new and first RC car in your whole lifetime, these are wheel nuts, not bolts. Oh, and uh, say hey to the kitty some reason she wants me to pet her. She feels gross, like really gross, like fur right there. I need to give her a bath. I might take a video of her and me, me attempting to give her a bath. She'll hate me for a bit, but she'll get over it. Anyway, back to this. Uh, so yeah, wheel nuts, not bolts. So uh, Let's put it together. I got a little container with the back bumper and its parts and uh, little clips for uh, the, that thing right there. It's on there. So, uh, even though it's a small adjustment, let's do it. There you go. So, 
I don't need that anymore. But I need these. Come on. Get through. Ah, goodness. There we go. Opened it up. Now I can just rip away. Extra parts. And now, there we go. That, that's what I want. So I'm gonna put her in there. Perfect. Ugh. There we go. Now. There we go. Now it's in there, nice and tight, sort of. Boom. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Perfect. Now you're going to tighten it more. Yeah, yeah, as I was saying, I went to the store, bought the nuts, and uh, I also asked them about the pinion gear. Turns out they did not have any in stock. So, on this Thursday, I'll look for other hobby places. And I'll get myself some more. Boom. Now, she's ready to go. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll actually show you guys me driving this thing. Have a good day.